Welcome everyone and thank you for stopping by Easy Life Journey where I empower people to uh, better themselves, help others, and to awaken themselves basically. In this chapter we're going to cover about how to be happy. The answer is easy and it's not what you think. I only cover very important and ask questions on Google. I also covered the most important questions in life that will help people in general. You know, there's so many questions in life, but I only focus on what is really needed to help and benefit humanity. So let's get started. Okay, so how to be happy is without a doubt the second most question asked in life after what's the meaning of life. After all, isn't happiness what everyone's looking for? Unless being happy is your ultimate purpose in life, you may never find your purpose in life, but finding or knowing how to be happy can make all the difference in the world. Happiness differs from everyone, you know, for example, playing video games for your kids gives them so much happiness, but for me, not anymore. I used to be happy when I was playing video games, but the last time I played video games was like maybe a year ago. And uh, sex, age, culture, environment, all that di differs on your happiness. So. You may be thinking, well, maybe I'm not happy where I'm living. Well, obviously I wasn't. When I moved, I became happier. So that's why I'm a traveler, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an, a writer, blogger, I have an online e-commerce. So you have to understand pleasure and happiness are different. Pleasure, you know, can be like sex, having ice cream, eating something wonderful, watching a movie. Pleasure doesn't last indefinitely. Happiness, however, can last, you know, for days, months. Like, for me, I'm happy just being alive. That's happiness. I'm happy that I have a girlfriend. I'm happy that I have a family. These are just examples. I'm happy that I have a car that runs well and, you know, gets me to work. That's happiness. So people don't want, people, even the definition of pleasure and happiness, people think are the same, but they're not. So I want to cover five important uh, elements in this chapter. The first is happiness is the journey, not the destination. The second, using and leveraging meditation to boost happiness. The third, healthy, uh, healthy diet and lifestyle contributes to a better and happier life. Interact with people, animal, and nature. It's in our DNA. And happiness is a state of mind. So, happiness is about the journey, not the destination. So there's this very influential monk from, well, I think he's American, but he's Hindu. Anyways, his name is um, Dandapani. He's a Hindu priest monk, and he's reached enlightenment. If you don't know what enlightenment is, well, basically it's when a Buddhist monk has achieved his ultimate goal in life. So, for example, a billionaire. I mean, like, you, you, you can't be a trillionaire because that's so hard and no one has ever. I mean, we just don't have the revenue or the, or the capital to become a billionaire as an individual. As a company, yes. But enlightenment is one of those rare, like, less than point zero 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 one percent you know. So, that's why I'm giving you advice from people that actually mean something. I'm not going to give you advice from just a random person, ever. So... Okay, so what he said was basically, you know, people think that des the destination is the most important, but the thing is the journey. In my previous video, I said 99% of the journey is everything, and the destination is only 1%. So people think that happiness is the goal, it's a destination, it's what they want to reach, but what they don't realize is that happiness is within us, it's part of the journey. If we're not happy, trying to achieve our goal, getting our destination, then what's the point? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I want happiness, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna work my ass off. I'm gonna be miserable while I'm working. I'm not gonna talk to people. I'm not gonna drink. I'm not gonna go out. You know, I'm gonna focus on work all day and all night for 10 years so I can become a billionaire or I can achieve that happiness. No, you're, you're gonna be so miserable, alone, and depressed 
that by the time you actually reach your goal, let's say you do become a billionaire or you actually do some reach and are successful, but you're not gonna be happy about it. When your main object objective, your goal was to be happy, but yet you weren't happy doing it in the first place. So that's what people forget that the journey is everything. And that's what he said. And I was like, wow, that really makes sense, you know? So that's my number one important. If you don't remember anything, just remember happiness is the journey, not the destination. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let's put it into a little example. Okay, I already told you about the example of that. And then, so meditation to boost happiness. I wrote a, 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 an article and I did a video about that. Meditation is, oh man, it's, it's life. It's part of life. You have to do it. It literally boosts happiness. It clears your mind of clutterness, randomness, negativity, you know. Meditation is time for yourself. You know, you don't have to worry about anything else. You give that 20 minutes or 40 minutes a day to yourself. Everything, you know, don't think, try not to think about anything. And if you do the transcendental meditation, you know, you can think, okay, I want to be happy. So you could, that could be part of your mantra. But you have to do meditation daily. I, I can't stress that enough. If you don't have time, make time, you know. Okay. So the next one is, okay, meditation changes the way you think. So as you're meditating, your mind goes through different changes and also your body. But the mind, when you're meditating, you're telling yourself, okay, I want to be happy. I want to be happy or I am happy. When you say I am happy, your body is saying, okay, I, and then am, and then happy. So you visualize happiness. So once you put those three words together, your body knows, or you can just say I happy. Um, so if you do that every day, you'll feel it. And then you, you have to feel it and visualize it. So that's very important. And okay. Happiness and meditation go hand in hand. When you combine those two attracting forces, you create something unimaginable. So you know how they say two, op uh, two opposing forces attract each other? But what if two attracting forces uh, attract each other? How does that work? You know, if you watch Dragon Ball Z or, you know, like, I'm just putting it out. You know, when the two people, they fuse together, they create something so powerful. But if they were one of each other, they're just normal. So diet, exercise, and lifestyles to boost happiness. Okay. Diet and fitness is one of the top niches in the in this in the internet. It produces eighty billion dollars a year globally. A year. And a lot of people eat junk food, so that's why they're not happy. They think they think eating McDonald's and fried chicken and all that oily and junk and ice cream and drinking alcohol and tobacco. That re remember, that's a pleasure. It releases in endorphins and dopamines into your brain. So you get a quick, for a couple minutes of feeling good and you wanna keep doing it over and over, you know, masturbation, drinking alcohol, smoking. Your body is so used to it after years and years and it's so hard to quit. I mean, I've had problems. I used to smoke cigarettes for two years. I used to drink for three years. I quit all of that, but I, I took it slowly. I didn't go from, I never smoked a lot anyways. I didn't go from, okay, six cigarettes a day to one a day. No, I went from six to five and then the next week to four and then the next week to three. Same thing with alcohol. If you do everything slowly, it's much better for your body. And for me being a, vegan vegetarian actually took very quick I because I was reading about meditation and happiness and how to achieve the spiritual side of myself um, and they said you have to be vegan or vegetarian so I was like okay so I have to be so I literally within one or two days stopped eating meat I mean I ate meat for 26 years but it wasn't like, okay, it took me a year to become a vegetarian or a vegan. It took me literally one or two days. That's how fast it was.
All right, thank you so much for watching the video. If you really liked it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Also, we have our website, easylifejourney.com, where you can refill articles and where we post weekly new articles and blogs. You can also check out our Facebook and our Instagram, Easy Life Journey. Thank you so much again for your time and have a great day.